Across the Northwest, there's an estimated half a million military veterans. Proud, patriotic men and women who've served their country in the armed forces. Some have seen active service in places such as Northern Ireland, the Falklands, Kosovo, Iraq and Afghanistan. Others may not have served in a theatre of war. For many ex-service personnel and their families, integrating back into civilian life is a relatively straightforward process. But for others, sadly, this is not the case. For them, leaving their comrades behind, departing from a highly structured military life, or suffering from the mental scars of service, makes the transition an emotionally difficult process. Many feel isolated and experience difficulties fitting back into society. Some struggle to cope financially. Others have difficulty balancing military and civilian life. Trained to be constantly alert and on the lookout for trouble, leave some veterans with hypervigilance. And for others, there are constant reminders of past difficult experiences. Happy birthday to you. Unfortunately, some veterans become detached from family life. Thanks to the Military Veterans Service, specialist help is now available throughout the North West for British ex-service personnel and their families who are experiencing mental health, emotional and social problems. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Come in. Veterans such as Russell Wright, who served 16 years in the Army, including two full tours in Northern Ireland. Russ decided to stay in Ireland when he left the Army in 1987. The day-to-day problems I faced when I came out was mainly that of finding a job. Obviously, Northern Ireland was a difficult place to find a job. Housing wasn't a problem. I managed to sort that out fairly quickly. But finding a job and working with, with, with civilians wasn't easy. They work a different way. They didn't understand the way I worked. I missed my workmates that I worked with before, my comrades, the lads in the army. And I felt isolated because I couldn't integrate into a new system of work. So that was my main problem, and there wasn't any help. It's not easy, uh, once you come out of the military or, or as, uh, as a veteran, to ask for help. Uh, and the reason for that is because while you're in service, everything is looked after for you. You do have a use of your brain because you've got to decide how best to do your job. But your day-to-day -day life or your administration is all done for you. I realised I needed help nearly 20 years after I come out of the army and my initial reaction was to go to my GP and say I just felt depressed and I was drinking too much. It took me a long time to, to put my hands up and say, Russ, you're in a bad way, mate, you, you need help. Um, but I'm glad I did it. I think it's very common that veterans have problems with their families. It's not easy to slip back into family life. You always want to be with your mates. You want to go back to your units. You, you want to go back on exercise or you want to go back on deployment. Therefore, you start getting angry you always hurt the one you love, as they say, and your family suffers. I've since remarried, and things are better, but I, I didn't treat my family very well. The Military Veterans Service has been set up because uh, there's a real need in the North West um, for a service of this kind, because we are one of the biggest recruitment areas for the armed forces across the country. Canine Care has a strong track record of working with veterans. A veteran is anyone who has served even one day in the armed forces. That includes all branches of the services and also uh, a particular group that we have concerns about because of the high level of vulnerability to the problems developing are reservists and uh, people in the Territorial Army. Um, on a Monday they can be in Afghanistan and by the Friday they're back in a job in the North West. Some of the people who will be referred to the service will have problems that aren't related to their combat experience, but are related to adapting back into their local community. 
the service will be offering veterans evidence-based treatment uh, for depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder and substance misuse issues in the main. I just arrived having been called forward as the medic. Although other services will be offered around debt management, employment, help with housing and relationship management. Most importantly we're offering services also for the veterans' families. From its very conception, veterans have been involved in the development of the service. One of the issues that we often were told in the consultation process was that uh, normal routine NHS staff perhaps aren't as familiar with military jargon or the hierarchy or the structure within the military. And those are issues that are very important when you're explaining your story that someone actually understands that. There's also a lot of stigma associated with seeking help if you've been an ex-service man or woman because you've been seen as someone who's been very strong, very confident, very much in control. Since the service has gone live, um, we've received um, very good interest from the veteran community, as demonstrated by the number of self-referrals. This service spans five counties, all the way up to Cumbria, and crosses various commissioning borders as well. In contrast to traditional NHS services, what this service offers is the composition of the team, first of all, we have veterans as therapists, we have family members of veterans and other therapists with a specialist interest. We've specifically tried to recruit individuals with experience of engaging difficult to engage populations. If there are veterans out there or family members of veterans who are a bit reluctant to seek help, we would ask them not to wait until the problem gets worse, but actually to make contact. They can speak to a veteran if they so wish, initially to have a conversation to help them decide whether this is for them. We are a very veteran-friendly service. I think I did leave it too long to find help. I left it for 20-odd years. What I would advise to anybody else is don't leave it so long. If I manage to hold my hand up after all them years, you lads can do the same thing. It's there to help. So please do try and use it. For veterans like Russell and their families, Pennine Care's Military Veterans Service is here to help. The service is being evaluated by the Personal Social Services Research Unit at Manchester University, providing commissioners such as GPs and wellbeing boards with evidence on how the service is performing. And with large numbers of veterans returning back to the Northwest from recent campaigns, it's predicted that demand for a service like this is only likely to increase. <laughs>